Hi, my name is Daniel Carroll, and this is my video audition for Drake University. I would like to first thank you very much for taking time to view uh, this audition tape, and I really appreciate all of the opportunities that you've given me. I will be reading two pieces today, one from Jim Leonard Jr.'s The Diviners, and another from Lucian's Dialogues of the Gods. For my first piece, I will be reading classical, classical comedy, Lucian's Dialogues of the Gods, and I will be reading the part of Zeus. You are a meddling, mean-spirited old man, Eros, and you'll get no mercy from me just because you have no beard or white hair. You were about to send me on a tryst with death. That's right, I know all about it. Prometheus spilled the beans on Thetis in the prophecy for Zeus's doom. Well, no woman is worth that. Not to mention all the little pranks you've pulled on me over the years. Every time you send me down to Earth to have a little fun with some mortal, you always turn me into a bull, or a satire, or a swan, or an eagle. Well, I tell you now, I am a one-man zoo. I'm surprised you never turned me into a bunny rabbit or a titmouse. Go, why can't women ever just love me? I am the ruler of all Olympus, after all. Why do they always have to have some sort of animal fixation? I mean, really, what sort of woman does it with a swan? Yet as long as I am honking and molting and flapping those big, ridiculous wings, she's in heaven. But the second I show my true form, she nearly kills herself trying to escape. I don't understand. Apollo doesn't have this problem. Maybe it's the hair. Alright, and for my next piece, it is my contemporary dramatic piece, and I will be reading Jim Leonard Jr.'s The Diviners, and I will be reading the part of C.C. Showers. Well, I was raised on the Bible, Miss Lehman. See, my daddy was a preacher and his daddy before, and his granddad, right on down the line. Boy comes to be about oh, 17 or 18, just hand him a Bible and turn him loose on the world. He'll make his way fine. <laughs> be an awful fine preacher one day. <laughs> uh, be just like his daddy, I guess. My daddy, he was a preacher. He'd have people up on their feet and out of their seats and singing and stomping and life was just fine. The man took to a Bible like he was there to just shout it. He's going to tell everybody, everybody about the wonder and the miracle and the sweet love of Jesus. He'd say, now you there, don't you love that sweet Jesus? Don't you love him so much you could cry? Well, show you do. I said, show you do. I said, now why don't you come on up here and tell us about it? Tell us all how much you love that sweet story. Let them all come up. Let them all tell the story. No sin's a great sin, cause every man's a sinner. Yes ma'am, that is all men. I said all men. I said every last man is a sinner. <sighs> oh, sorry. Um, well, uh, well then there's me. Um, you know, I, I'd get up there and, and I'd start shouting. And then they'd shout right back to me. They'd amen right to me. And then I'd shout again, and they'd shout, and then... And then it gets real quiet. I mean, they're all looking and waiting and all ready to holler. And there I am up there, thinking. Plain forgot what I was preaching. All right. Uh, those are my two pieces. I would just like to thank you once again for taking time to view them, and I look forward very much to hearing from you. If you have any questions for me at all, my telephone number is 542-8060. 712-542-8060. Thanks again, and goodbye.